Hello and happy 2020. It is me, Dan, from The Coding Train, here to launch a new learning playlist on YouTube called The Nature of Code. That's what it says right here. Um, so this is not new content at all. In fact, this playlist that I'm about to embark upon um, is based on material that I started working on probably in 2008 and then published a book about, which you can find online at natureofcode.com in 2012. The book here that you're seeing is all is was written then and has largely not been updated. Uses processing, which is a Java-based creative coding um, environment. And I am going to redo, re, I'm re, in the process of rewriting the book to update things for 2020, as well as uh, port a lot of the text, all of the text and examples to JavaScript with P5JS. So it's my dream that by the time you're watching this, this will look totally different, but this is where it is right now as I'm recording this. Um, in terms of what's already on the YouTube channel, these are all of the videos. Most of these were actually recorded between five and eight years ago. The quality is, is a little bit lower, not that my quality is the best ever now, but it's, it's improved. Um, and so you can go back and watch these, but largely what I'm going to do is go through a lot of these topics and redo these videos with new ways of thinking and new ideas and also JavaScript. Um, I should mention that some of the stuff I did update more recently like genetic algorithms and neural networks and the physics libraries and little bits and pieces in here. So there will be, if you're following through this playlist, there will be some like forward and backward in time of how things have, when things have been recorded, but hopefully it will all piece together with a nice narrative. If you want to follow the book being updated and the examples being updated as it's happening, I'll refer you to the nature of code on GitHub. So here are all of the open source repositories for all of the raw material of the book. So the book itself is in NOC book two. Um, there's the syllabus, which is uh, for a course that I'm teaching at ITP. Uh, New York University to School of the Arts. There's the uh, code for the website, there's the processing examples, there's the P5JS examples, and there's even some uh, Python examples as well. Um, so all of this is stuff that I'm going to be working on, and my goal is that sometime by the end of 2020, all of this will be complete. This video series that is there in front of you will have be all filled out, and we can all just have a little dance and be uh, merry, go merrily on our way. Um, let me also give a mention of Cadenze, which um, produced, uh, which I participated in producing an online course called The Nature of Code um, years ago, a bunch of years ago as well, that has a lot of video tutorials, a lot of similar content. This is also a nice resource, a complement to what I'm doing um, here as well. So I probably should have mentioned what this is all about. So this book is about looking at the world around us, the natural world, being inspired by it, and trying to create software experiences, interactive experiences, inspired and based on those things. The first bit of advice I might have for you, and you know, thinking of the words of George Washington Carver, go take a walk outside, experience the world around you, be with people, be with human beings, uh, enjoy nature, and that might help really give you ideas and inspiration for what you might want to create when you sit down to code. And that's really what this book is about for me. You know, fractals, cellular automata, autonomous agents, a physics simulation, genetic algorithms, neural networks. This happens to be a list of things that I'm going to go through step by step by step throughout this series, but really there's so much more to the world that we live in than just that into outer space and beyond into the universe. So I hope that as you watch this series, you think beyond just what I have here, create stuff and also share it with me. So stay tuned, look in this video's description. There's lots of ways if you're watching these videos that you can share projects you've made, mostly on the codingtrain.com where I think that's where I'm gonna put stuff. <laughs> but there's, uh, just check the video's description, all that will be ironed out. I gotta end this because this is really just a rambling introduction. I wanna get into the content. I'm gonna come back and redo this anyway once all the videos are done. <laughs> so hopefully this is like, now you're watching this sometime in the future as like an interesting uh, like historical footnote, <laughs> but thanks. Uh, come with me on this journey, Nature of Code, and I, I can't. I, I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy making it. I know because I do enjoy this kind of stuff, and um, I can't wait to see what you do. Bye. <laughs>